Wait, wait. Hang on, this has to be, we gotta get. No, I don't want this on the camera. But this is reality. The front, I think, is the remnants. Check, check. Check, check, check. Okay. Oh. <laughs> We're, uh, <clears throat> hi, everybody. It's us again. Oh, wait. Here we go. There's Ryan. Hello, everybody. And uh, we're trying to determine if Ryan dyed the front of his hair. It looks really good. <laughs> um, the sides are grayer than the front, but it looks very natural. <laughs> You did. He looks guilty, like he must have well, no, monkeyed no, no. with it. The um, the sides are are short, so they're they're new growth and they're gray. Oh, you mean you used to dye the whole thing? At one point. Oh, okay. Well, it's nice that you're that concerned about your television appearance. It's very yes. professional. You know, I almost. He always looks good. Yeah. Well, who knows? We'll see what it's like next week. It may be completely different. Well, it looks good now, but if you experiment, well, we're open-minded. It could be blue or green or purple. Hi, everybody. I'll switch the mics. Let's see, we want... Uh, this one? Yeah. Looks like a busy... This one? Yeah. Looks like a busy day at the bar. It does look like a busy day in the bar. Should we do a bar scene? It really is busy. I better go investigate. Ryan's going to investigate the bar and probably get a drink, I would imagine. I'm monkeying around with the gear. Uh, one of my, there's always issues, there's always issues with the equipment, which is part of the, it's part of the game. Um, so once you, once you uh, stop your put and you cash out, where does that leave the people that buy your put? Well, Hopefully, um, they, they didn't need it, so they never they never have to exercise their option because they stopped performing the way they, they really wanted to. Well, yeah, they're rather put. It's, they're, they're on the uh, long side of the put. It's right, this, right this circle here. Yeah, you know, it's the time of day and date. They gotta get yeah, out. by Friday at 4 o'clock. Oh, okay, I got it. This weekly one? Well, yeah. what, what, well, any of them. I think they're all on Friday, aren't they? Not if you go by the 15th. There's something I see. It, 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 most yeah. of the action market starts on the 15th. Okay. Yeah, well, whatever day it is, yeah. at 4 o'clock when the bell rings. Yeah, at least for the closing. Yeah, that big bell. You can come on the Well, it, I, I am doing a lot of studying. I spent a lot of time, and I'm still confused. But they say that's normal. They said it takes months. You get into the arbitrages and stuff like that. I don't even know how to spell arbitrage. But it sounds awesome. Well, here we are. a few things at once. I monkey around all the time. I'll tell you, there were very, very rich people who couldn't care less if they were going to lose. It's just their time of day for play. Well, Hey, this looks pretty good. You can make a few hundred a week, man. That's 15 grand a year. Well, I'm trying to make a, a decent return without having it all exposed because the, uh, you know, we're, we're on thin ice, you know, because the market is so high. The market is so, so overblown. Yeah, but there's nowhere else to go. But there's nowhere else to go. If they, if they start doing CDs at 5 or 6% again, this market will be gone. 
Yeah, that won't happen. Because rich people will take a, a, an FDIC CD. I'd rather make that. Yeah, 6%. It, it, depending on what inflation yeah, is. So. For sure. If well, it would rather be in that. You're watching the financial show with Rich Sellers and Howard Goldman. We're both Jewish, so like we we don't even have to know what we're talking about, but it'll be right. And here comes Ryan. And Ryan knows how to get a good looking drink. It's not as uh, crazy in there as it appears. Yeah, there was nobody on the side of the bed. That's beautiful. It's uh, Manhattan. Oh, wow. And how was that one cost? Um, this time it was $10. For two? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's $5 each. That's a good spot. Five bucks for that drink, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, because it's two for one here at the Staller. That's a great deal. I've often commented that uh, the prices vary. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's 12 bucks. Yeah, I don't know. to say hi to Nick. Nick out. Sometimes I specify. Nice music over there. The, the wedding is um, the 20s theme. Oh. They're playing I'm in the Mood for Love. They're playing it in C. I'm in the Mood for Lounge Academy. Simply because it's Friday. Uh, uncle-in-law's uh, memorial service. 
Marin's uncle, the pure man, made it into his 90s. He had a wonderful life. But um, anyway, I was in Lockport, and uh, it was exciting, you know, kind of get up early and, and get out there and everything. And then usually, usually I devote my, I don't make any, you know, I don't like to make any plans. And that's especially, like, doubly true for Fridays. On Fridays, Lounge Academy is the only plans I have. If anybody says, can I deliver a refrigerator? How's Friday? No, I don't do any, I don't schedule anything on Fridays, because I devote the entire Fridays, I funnel the entire energy of a Friday into our Friday night Lounge Academy. Well, that's a wise move right there. Well, thank you. Um, I think so. I think it is. It's proven to be so. And so just the fact that I had to do anything today. Um, I'd like to just try to concentrate all my anxiety on my upcoming performance. Right. It's good to funnel that anxiety. Yes. Into the piano. I feel great. The set looks great. Um, they really set us up nice tonight. We've got white tablecloths. We've got an extension to the piano bar so people, so more people can fit around the piano. And we have Richie. He gave it to me on the house. And you can't beat wow. that. Wow. You guys are giving me the house. Okay, where's the com here's the comments. Who do we have out there? Right uh, Nick Otto is out there. I mean, a lot of people are watching. Hello, Nick Otto. Uh, without commenting. That, that's funny. I think they're reserving their judgment prudently.
I think I just screwed up the other. I think they missed our. Yeah, I didn't. You guys, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, and the jury and the audience. I, I didn't have the right mic open. We missed our discussion about Viagra. Maybe it's just as well. When it first came out, you couldn't get it in Canada, so people would come over to Niagara Falls to get it from Canada. And then it had the nickname Viagra Falls. Now we're on the the best sounding mic, except it's overdriven right now. I'm going to pull it down. Okay. I, I didn't place it yet. I've got it. It's held in the uh, shopping cart. Yeah, I did that today because. Uh, I glued it, but then I broke it again. The glue didn't hold. So I put that on there so there wouldn't be any sharp edges. It's not, as, it's not as bad as it was. 
Richie's getting my tip book. That's my tip. He always does something special with my tip. He made it into a 747. Oh. Welcome to Lounge Academy. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Hi, how are you? What were you doing all day that was horrible? <laughs> uh, listening to a seminar on reporting human trafficking and child abuse. Oh and gosh. All that. It was not very much fun. No wonder you look so happy to be here. <laughs> I thought it was us. <laughs> it is, you know, of course. Kimberly Perry, also known as Mrs. Shane. Thank you for the heart. I'll send you one. This camera work here. Hang on, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make this camera work. There we go. In case we need it, this is our spy camera. It's an. It's a. It's a special camera. Over here, that we can grab when something really cool is happening. We'll aim it here at this VIP table. What's in the songbook? Well, let's find out. I almost 
just got you a songbook from a weird estate sale on Saturday, but I think it had mildew in it, so I, I passed it up. Well, mine have mildew in them, and I bought them brand new. I bought these new. Look at this. It looks like something you inherited from your grandfather, right? Another wonderful bird. Oh, there's Dan H. He's busy building his new uh, beer garden. And uh, so he hasn't been in as much as he used to be because he's, he's building his own joint. I can, I can understand that. I've built a lot of businesses. It takes a long time. I've seen some exterior projects. Oh, have you? Yeah. I haven't been over there. i got to check up on them. There's a new facade going up. The facade's going up? Nice. Dan H.'s facade is going up. And as soon as Tina finds out about that, maybe Tina's out there somewhere. It's actually just going to be face. That's a great idea. That'll make everyone need a beer. Oh yeah. Dan H. He's building a beer garden. Across from Jack Shapiro's old place. into your face. It's going to be wonderful. She's the talk of the town. Mary went on a road. 
road trip today. No, we took the Crown Vic. We went, we went in luxury. That's okay, we own Exxon. As a hedge, takes the sting out of it. because the dividend was higher when I bought it. Yeah, the Exxon's more. No, it is. It's like 5.6 or something. 5 point... No, percent. Percent on the, on the strike price. Well, yeah. I, whatever, well, I mean, it's obviously really good because the... I mean, it's, it's a return on your investment. That's all that matters, right? I mean, that's one way of looking at it. You know what's paying a really lot? 8.3%? Philip Morris. You see, that's the beauty. I do too. I want dividends on all the misery that I've witnessed. They call those sin stocks. Yeah, it just goes down. I'm glad I didn't come in and tune the piano. It sounds pretty good. Great to see Lizzie out there. She's at happy hour, bareback on an alligator. Why don't you get into the shot? We got to get Mary into the shot. No, she's over there. Oh, she's in that shot. You're right. You're right. She's in that shot. There's Mary, everybody. Music. 
It's like a, it's like a moving nose. Social media for periods of the time, so that's probably why. She's really in the shot. What happened to our meters? Where's our meters?
It's always something.
hipster music. says hi. Hi, Bill. Melinda and Mike. Mike and Melinda. I wonder if my joke, is my joke mic up enough? But you're right in front of it. Must sound like tailless where you're sitting. I got the bass turned down and the treble turned way up. For siblings. Here's one for Melinda. Well, thank you, Melinda Miller. Appreciate that. He was quite a guy, a man of real style. Obviously, he's the other side of the family from that description. It's all good. Just a dream or two. You know this one? I've got lots of plans for tomorrow. All my tomorrows belong to you. Right now, it may not seem like spring at all. Drifting and the laughs off you. I've got rainbows planned for tomorrow. All my tomorrow. missing in action. You better miss us. Where the heck are you? Brenda's flown the coop. Now we, 
I'm gonna, I think we should devote the show to gossiping about Brenda because she's not here. She's watching though. This is how I have to check my, I have to check my sound because my meters disappeared. My meters just disappeared. Who needs meters? We don't need no stinking meters. start knocking them out and watching them. Wish I had my audio meters. Suddenly I got no audio meters. Beyond the crowd Above the world We're not too proud To cling Together We're strong as long as we're Together Why 
lightning rain The starless night We're not in vain For we're together What is there to fear Together Our love is as deep as the sea That song is, and it's it's an oxymoron song, right? Alone together, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be an oxymoron? It's clever. It's clever though. That's uh, Dietz and Schwartz. It was very touching. That was almost as poignant as the show Tennis Without Balls. some comments. Where's the comments? Swipe to reveal comments. I don't see any. song for Paul Cambria, wherever you are. Good evening. 
I got my can of can of beer. But you can get whatever you want. You can get two of them. Take care, Richie. He's Richie Sellers. Ooh, yeah, he's Richie the blues man. Richie's going home. He's going to tune in and watch from home. That's Richie's chord right there. That's a good chord for Richie. It's complex, like he is. Usually like on the nine, like a nine chord. Like they go like... That's the most used one. We're, we're taking requests, last chord requests. For the November 20th event, yeah. we have a professional piano tuner from the day before, Bob Sporta. Wow. Bob knows it's a great harmonic piano. We'll be coming to our house. That's great. For you. That's, I'll, 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 I better show up. He's doing it. Oh, that's my favorite. It keeps the strings relaxed. That's just the black keys. He's doing the white keys. All different. It's going to be a mixed, a mixed party. Yeah. 
I was never spellbound by a star in the sky. What is there to move when love has passed you by? Then there came a midnight And the world was new Here am I so spellbound, darling Not by stars But just by you At last, my love has come on. Thank you, darling. My lonely days are over, and life is like a song. Never embraces. Yeah, that's right. In fact, he has a phobia about it. But he just ran over and embraced that man, and they they look they look like freaking brothers. Does he have a brother? I can't keep track. His life is so complicated. They seem pretty uh, intimate with one another. I'll bet, I'll bet it is. What do you think? He could be a stunt double. But well, one's bound to be. Ryan's old fashioned. He digs old stuff. 
Iron gloves, the old-fashioned fingers. The sound of rain upon his window pane. Looks just like you. Don't say that. Why do you guys look like you could be brothers? <laughs> he goes to the same church that I do, and people always confuse us, and we can't figure out why. Oh, I see. So you're not related. I thought, and you guys seem like really, you know, like you you embraced each other, like you know. And yeah, I know you, you don't usually, you know, you're not, you're not a hugger. There was a I'm not either. from another church that had a whole conversation with me and then towards the end realized, we both realized that she thought she was talking to him. And if, like, if you guys had this happen to have coincided with the same grooming at the same time, it would be very difficult for people to figure you guys out. We really don't look alike, though. Now you do. Not really. Not if you actually... Well, no, but the way our brain works, you know, who knows how facial recognition works? It's a very complicated thing, right? It's amazing that we could recognize a face in a million, right? Now, Mary can't. She's, she's, um, you know, she, she's like, what is it called, like hamburger syndrome? Asperger syndrome? She's a genius in a whole bunch of things, but... She doesn't have facial recognition, so I have to, but she can remember names. She knows who the people are. She never forgets. Ryan has an amazing, super amazing memory, too. People with special gifts are drawn to me for some reason. I, my whole life, I've been surrounded by people with, with special pop superpowers. Yeah, I'm, my, I play a role in this somehow. Mine is unpredictable, because there could be someone who I've met a bunch of times. Something. Maybe because I recognize these talents in people. It has something to do with it. I collect, I collect these things. like the little like worm that that finds the big the big beautiful shell to live in. Like a hermit crab? Like a hermit crab, is that what they do? Yeah. They use so they, they, they kinda it's like a symbiotic relationship. Where you, like like I'm a worm and they've got this beautiful shell. No, I'm the worm. Now I'm in trouble. She thinks I was saying she's the worm. I've got it here on tape, though. I, I'm the worm. How come I can't see the comments? Here they are. There. I wonder where Ann Rogers is right now. And Rocco PJ and Brian Van Horn. Hi, Brian Van Horn. Nice to see you. My adopted cousin. Did you ever have a friendship like this guy that you look exactly like? I don't look like him. Okay, that's, that's fine. You probably don't, like to a camera or something. But to human beings, it, you know, it does something. So it turns out that I know, I know who's getting married here. Alex. Huh? Alex is getting married. No, I mean... Oh, right now, you mean? Right now, in there. Oh, I thought you meant somebody who works here is getting married. Oh, really? So you could easily crash the wedding. I could. I mean, yeah. Obviously, I don't know, know them well enough to be invited, but I know who it is. They might think they invited you. 
they would be really confused if I turned up. Send that other guy in. Well, he's, he, then he's here for that. Oh, he is? Oh, then you could definitely crash it. They think you're him. <laughs> this is the end. Thank you. 
Fisher. Barbara Fisher is fabulous. get lost this is the Michael Emick birthday show he had a birthday recently we never get tired of Michael Emick get it? tired? he's the best Mike you're the best I've never seen anybody enjoy retirement as much as Michael Emick mainly because he's devoted it to eating Not, not 
just ordinary eating. This man really, really appreciates a good lunch. Anytime, day or night. Goodyear stock doubled on the power of Michael Emick's lunches. Thumbs up. Wait, I just accidentally hit the comments. Here we go. I'm going to give you a, a thumbs up. Ooh, thank you, Sylvia Smith. Wonderful to have you with us tonight on Lounge Academy. It's Sylvia Smith. Oh, yeah. Very 
well. The world was fine. As far as Sylvia could tell. Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of gay amour. At dawn I woke up singing sentimental overtures. This heart of mine is dancing gaily now. I taste the wine of real romancing now. This crazy world is taking on a wonderful design. As long as life endures, it's yours, this heart of mine. Bits 
fields of straw and string. Following us all these years, if I dream out loud, when I'm in a crowd, and forget the time of day, darling, man with me, when you stare at me, and remark the gold. Pleasure to do this Peter Allen song for you.
feel very flattered because she could have been to 10, 10 jingles by now with the time she's given us tonight. Which, cigar and a cocktail with a big umbrella in it and a beer next to that. Good night, sir. same church. Yeah. You and me, we wanted it all. We wanted it all. Passion without pain. Oh, 
something deep inside you and me we work like the rest we once were the best Others look, look how our dreams came true. See how I've got me. See how you've got you. Something deep inside You and me We once were the best We weren't like the rest Look what we've become Isn't it a cry of shame Seneca Tower. Doing? Just, you know, window shopping. We got we to gotta play somewhere. Right? Lounge Academy has to hold court somewhere. Someplace grand. Can we get out the chairs? Yeah, we'll have to bring our own chairs in. Their floors are empty. Not the ones that are occupied. There you go. Nick still knows his old tricks. He knocks my teeth out with the mic. I love it. It gets a laugh every time. It never gets old. He's got timing. Comedy timing. Oh 
yeah, yeah. Cocktail. She's going to get a cocktail. Her name is Tina, Tina, Tina. She's going to get a cocktail. No, thank you. I've got a can of pop. Oh, yeah. I've got a can of pop. I was going to bring a pizza. But I didn't because I didn't know it was allowed here. Could you bring a pizza and put it on the table? Um, No. No, it's a restaurant. You know, you gotta buy a damn pizza. Health department rules. Plus, you know, we gotta like make them some money, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Never hire me to do that. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had that talent. Oh yeah. Where people, you know, it's it's a glamorous business to enter. But talk about retail jail. I mean, that is really piecemeal work, you know. your margins right there. I was going to turn off the, the sound systems on it here. Let me turn it off. It's about time. Thank you. 
ladies and gentlemen. I I play the piano, but God has walked in the room. His name is Alex Leonard. The great one is, is here with us through the, through the magic of the internet. He sent us three hand claps and a smiley face. And he's one of my personal favorites. Someday I'm going to have a white jacket like Alex Leonard. They're all the rage in the Big Apple. In the big market, they get, they're, they're all, it's all catching on. They're all getting Alex Leonard jackets. Yeah. But Buffalo is not far behind. So around 2038, we'll be getting some white jackets. I'm going to be the first. It's all right. left on them. They're doing donuts in the parking lot. That's why you should always tip your valets. Otherwise, they take your car to the Lancaster Speedway like while you're getting bombed at the event. You learn these things the hard way. singer. 
beautiful singer named Marion Marion Montgomery. You familiar with Marion Montgomery, Alex Leonard? Thank you, Alex Leonard. She was big in Britain in the 60s and later. What a wonderful singer. just getting good here. We turned the room, Alex Leonard. That's a term that us professionals understand, right? Turning the room. It's different than turning their stomachs. notebooks so that I could be really prepared and I don't think I put their song in it but it should be in this one it's not I think it's in here it's a perfect song yes Marion Montgomery isn't she great Alex Leonard if you um if you go to YouTube and do a Marion Montgomery I'll be tired of you. And you could even put. Um, you'll see the TV show come up. With Dudley Moore. It was Dudley Moore's show. And she does this with him. He was an amazing pianist. As you know. And he had an amazing trio. And. They, she did this with his trio. And yeah, yeah. That's the one. What a musician he was. Phenomenal. Okay, here we go. This is for. This is for everybody who lives in a schoolhouse. Each week after Lounge Academy, Terry and Tina go back right up Delaware Avenue, just a few blocks. We won't get we won't get too specific. They stroll back the avenue, back to the old brick schoolhouse, the red schoolhouse, and they go into their pad, as they call it, because they're very hip. And they've got a special room in there because they didn't need all the rooms in, this, in their apartment. Is it a condo or an apartment? An apartment. It's even better. They got the extra room there, so they set it up. They've got a green chalkboard. It was in the basement. They brought it up, one of the old chalkboards. And after coming to Lounge Academy and having two or three hundred drinks and walking back through the fresh air beautiful romantic Delaware Avenue they go into the school room they put on their little outfits and and Tina's usually the she's usually the the schoolmaster with the ruler she only all of a sudden it's a Catholic school and she's wearing a, a very strict, very strict outfit. And then Terry is the bad little boy. And then he, after he gets his hand slapped with the ruler a few times, 
the well, it's about you. We're talking about you. You're the script. You're the script in the extra room you got in your apartment in the schoolhouse. When you walk back from Lounge Academy after two or three hundred drinks. Well, it's yeah, it's a. And, no, we're talking about you. And they go into their little extra room. It's all set up like a classroom at their school. And Tina usually plays the strict school master, mom. Sometimes it's a Catholic school and it's really nasty. And Terry is, always winds up being the naughty little boy whose dog ate his homework and a few other things. After getting, after getting his knuckles slapped by the ruler a few times, Terry says, did you say I've got a lot to learn? Well, don't you think I'm trying not to learn? Since this is the perfect spot to learn, teach me, teach me tonight. Starting with the ABCs of it. Right down to the XYZs of it. Help me solve the mysteries of it. Tina, teach me tonight. A shooting star goes by. I'll use that star to write, I love you. A thousand times across the sky. Isn't very clear, my love. Should the teacher stand? seen that one Alex Leonard yeah those are just so great yeah I'm gonna have to watch that when I go home now Alex Leonard the great Alex Leonard he's the biggest thing in New York I'm gonna look it up he's the biggest thing at Lounge Academy in Buffalo too he came all the way up here one night yeah did a great set. He had his white jacket on. It was the white jacket period. It wasn't the early plaid period. We got him during the white period.
I wonder where, what John Kay is doing right now. The great one. Probably something glamorous. I'm sure he has a cocktail in his hand somewhere. Maybe both hands. John because we haven't done it yet tonight your eyes your eyes don't shine Like they used to shine See us next week. You heard that, ladies and gentlemen. 
She could have been at 20 gin mills the time she spent with us tonight. That is the highest praise here at Lounge Academy. Thank you very much, Darlene. There she goes. How about another big round of applause for Darlene? show business destinations. some habits even Dave can't explain I'll start for the corner turn up in Spain why try to change me now I'll sit and I'll daydream Got day dreams galore. Cigarette ashes. There they go on the floor. I'll go away weekend. People talk, people stare, so I try. That's not for me, cause I can't see my kind of crazy world go passing me by. So let people wonder. Let them laugh, let them frown. You know I love you till the moon's upside down. Don't you remember? I was always your clown. Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Psy Coleman tune for, for Kim Perry. Why try to change change me now? Words to live by. Do this up. 
every Friday. In case you just tuned in. Here at the Stabber in downtown Buffalo. We've been at it 11 years. But we're only going to be at it for a few more weeks. At least here. Because they're going to close the place for a complete remodel. They do want us back. But that could be a couple of years from now. And it's going to be a long time. To that song. Everyone wants to kill somebody. Everybody wants to see somebody suffer who broke their heart to pieces. See, Terry gets it. He's got, he's got a few grudges. If you sit by the river's edge long enough, the, the bodies of your enemy will float by. It goes something like this. If you float by, I've been waiting at the river's edge, yeah. That's from the musical uh, Sun Tower, or whatever its name is. <laughs> All right, child. Behave yourself. Thank you, Tina. We've been overserved. You, very good. Now you're going to go and uh, get pizza to the schoolroom, get pizza. That's nice. Where do you get your pizza? On the way home. Oh, yeah. Bocce. Convenient. Yeah. Did you radio it ahead? Or do you wait because it's part of the date night? To the anticipation. They're happy to see it. I'll bet. Everybody's happy to see you. To the gym in the morning in a beautiful sunny day. Up in the 
Oh, good. Thank goodness. Well, it looks cool. You look like you're in the Olympics. It looks really cool on your car. I want a kayak for my car. Nick's gonna get one too. Well, you can print. There's there's signage area on a kayak. It's attention grabbing. Here's one for Dr. Fauci. I've got you. Under my skin, I've got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart, you're really a part of me. I've tried so not to give in Said to myself, self, this affair never could go so well Why should I try to resist when darling I know so well Ooh, Tina, I've got you Getting a pizza. Sacrifice anything. Come what may. Thank you, Tina. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That warning voice that comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool? You never can be. Your mentality. Wake up to reality But each time I do Just the thought of you Makes me stop Before I begin I've got you Ooh, Tina, I've got you Ooh, I've got you Subcutaneously. <laughs> Many more. Yay. Terry's got seven a hell of a night. They're gonna get a pizza now. Thank you, Nick. Pleasure to play it for you. I do. It's awesome. And it makes me happy and doesn't make me cry. So that's good. All right, we'll try to get one a little tear jerker. No, I don't want any tear jerker. Uh, cleans out the pores. Oh, I like that song. All right, well, we'll, we'll just. Uh, I want to be we'll, around. We'll, I like we'll see what I did it. You did it already. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. No, it's quite Let's all right. Let's see what else we got. We did this. Yep. What, what are these? Let's see. Nah, I don't know that one. I gotta have something I can like relate. Chew on, yeah. Chew on, yes. That's a good, good way of putting it. How about, how, here, like I got Tony one. Bennett. I got one. Good. Here's one Tony Bennett did. I love Tony Bennett. If I loved you, time and again, I would try to say. Come in now. 
he picked the greatest songs. He, he made a lot of them the great songs. It's amazing he's still at it. Yeah. I'll never he forget it. Yeah, yeah, and he was great. Yes. Yeah, that was weird, very memorable. Yes. Certain channels are still open. back soon because there aren't too many weeks left so come every week I don't know how many weeks we have in December because of the, the way the events fall you know I'm afraid to look so you know there aren't there aren't too many left there they go ladies and gentlemen pure class he's double parked the golden turnstiles. Good night, everybody. We've had a great night. Now that, now that we've made every single person leave, we don't stop until like we've really completed the mission. Right, Mary? Tom Lewandowski's out there. Wonderful seeing you, sir. Thanks for saying hi and being with us, sharing the evening with us. This was a great. It was a fun night. I needed it too. I needed a lot of fun tonight. Yeah, that's right. We. we a friend there who was asking about a friend to pull the muscle in her back. She's she pulled the muscle in her back. Yes. She's like a super athlete. Yeah, she was doing something very athletic. That's all I can think. The mixer disappeared. Reset. Okay, we got him back. I'm so glad. Now we could, now we could hear this one, ladies and gentlemen. However, the sticker shop got its first favorite that was not Zach. Someone favorite at the shop. Wow. Mary's talking about uh, one of our uh, side hustle businesses. It's called uh, Planner Mary. Planner Mary on Etsy. <laughs> and it's off to a good start. follower that was not somebody we do. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, we purposely keep these things from our friends because we don't want just yeah, our friends to like feel they have to over, you know, praising yeah. us out of kindness. Yeah, I want to be out there in the big room. So we, we've really cleared, good night, sir. We've really cleared this place out. <laughs> that's what music will do. Have a nice night. It's just us and the fish now, and the guy making all the noise with the tables. Oh yeah. Tell you what, if Mark was around, nobody would be dropping those tables like that. Yeah, that's so damaging he to would the flip. floors, to the tables, to the, yeah. Well, yeah, especially the floors. He's very, very particular about the floors. Yeah, well, they're he, beautiful. He gets mad if you scrape a, a chair on the oh. floor. I, I'm still, I still pick they're up the beautiful. chairs. Look at the, the yeah. Workmanship. Yeah, he had them all polished up yeah. and stuff. And, uh, hi, Tom. Time for the afterglow. Yeah, this is the uh, the, ra the wrap up, the evening wrap up. Let me see if I can uh, do some. There we go. The lounge wrap up. <laughs> this is the time of night I like. 
when, when nobody is praising me and I have to pack all of my stuff up and I'm tired. I'm not tired though. You know why? I'm not tired. Because <laughs> we're, we're sponsored by Five Hour Energy Drink. This, this is a, an amazing product. Um, <laughs> You may never. <laughs> Look, he's got it in his pocket. You may you may never sleep again, uh, but you won't mind. Power, this little bottle, you know, it competes with the large energy drinks, the large bottles and cans, um, and, and it's, somehow it's actually stronger. It, sugar free. It has vitamins and nutrients. And minerals. And pure hell is in this bottle. No, actually, you know, you don't feel idle, speaking from my own, now that I've tried it out. I don't really feel, like, necessarily buzzed from it. Usually, um, you just have the lack of fatigue when you use this stuff. You know? You're thinking, that's not doing anything. I don't feel any different. But then four hours later, you don't feel any different. That's the whole point. Got it? Nick Otto appreciates the five hour energy. <laughs> Nick Otto's so great. He's the best. It was he? fun when we met him when he was here. It was a lot of fun when Nick Otto came to the Lounge Academy. That was one of our biggest closing shows. But seeing him in person does not, there's something particularly charming he does that doesn't come across in person, which is how he capitalizes things on Facebook and how he expresses himself in type. He is. He's, a, he's really a, eloquent. He's a chip off the old, the old block for sure. Yes, very. Like they say, the nut doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> Remember when I did the story on George Apple? And his name means apple in German, apple. And I said the apple did not fall far from the tree. The apple. Well, that doesn't surprise me because, wow, that guy with something. He had to carry his chair. Yeah, all of a sudden there's someone who's very quiet and good with no, it. No, but the guy is like that kind of a man. He carries him on his back like, like some ancient nice. like, slave. Wow. These kids around here are all good. So, um, did you know my boss got engaged? I saw that on Facebook. Yeah, I saw that looked very I dramatic. Oh, so I thought it happened now. Is he was in Jamaica or someplace? Some damn place. Yeah, and people were watching from she's the balcony. Got this. She I gotta her, ask her about she's that. She's got this huge rock. Not huger than mine. Not, no. No, not. Cause, cause I her, am serious. Because I got her a fake one. No, <laughs> it is not fake. No, maybe But, um, no, it's a beauty, and she's just. She's just all of it. Yeah, she's all so of that cool. at once. She's, she's beautiful, beautiful too. Those pictures were so beautiful. Yeah. She just looked like something else. She looked like a movie star. And then she's, and then she's. I'm so happy for her. And running this whole thing where, with all these moving pieces for these huge weddings. I mean, they were actually getting married and then they came down stairs and then they went over there and all this stuff going on. And she's just, you know, she, she, she makes it look easy. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I could not do that job in a million years. I can't even do my job. Right. It's different. That's why different people do different jobs. You know, we're wired for different things, I guess. Yeah. It's funny these topics we get off on. Well, Mary's not talking anymore. <laughs> so I guess I better pack up. We had a great night. It was a really I, nice night. I got a lot of tips. A lot of fun people were here. If anybody, uh, the home viewers or or, <laughs> or uh, rerun watchers, uh, no, no, you know, you don't have to feel too guilty if you don't do it. But um, a lot of people like to ask how they how they can tip, and it's we've made it pretty easy for you. It's www. Tip Howard. Dot com. Tip yeah, tiphoward.com. When you, when you hit enter, it sucks the money right out of your wallet. 
<laughs> we, we've got it so streamlined. It's just amazing. And I, I thank all the cadets, the ones that are at large and at home, uh, for the continuous support of Lounge Academy through the years. And um, I'm getting kind of sentimental, you know, because I'm really going to miss the Statler more, more than anything, you know, I love more than I could even know, because um, we've only got a few weeks left, and um, then they're going to close uh, for 2022 and 2023, or at least part of it. Who knows how long these projects take? And they're going to just, like, really make the place great. And the, the owner said he wants me back, you know, wants us back, the lounge cadets. But that's in a couple of years, you know, so even so, even though I know it's going to be better than ever, it's, I'm still going to miss kind of this because all the memories associated with um, the place and that, and that uh, our old buddy Mark Croce, you know, this is his, his vision of what the uh, Statler lobby uh, should be and looks, you know, looks like. And uh, I'm sure the new, the next vision is going to be over the top as well. Uh, but, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to kind of miss what, what this is, you know, just because, because of the associations. But uh, that's what happens, you know, when you have the best, then you miss it. Right. Not much more. So, but we're working on. Um, I'm sneaking around town, scoping out the best locations for the lounge cadets to have their weekly parties. Um, under the assumption, I just feel like we're on a mission from God or something, like the Blues Brothers, because I've been going to the, the the most extravagant places, taking tours, sneaking in with employees, places aren't even open yet for the most spectacular space I could find. That's my mission, my pledge to you, the Lounge Cadets, that I do my best to provide something up, up to our spoiled standards of excellence. We've been very fortunate to, to be here. Actually, we kind of had something to do with it. So we had to do some outlandish tricks to get in this place. Sell the building, right, Mary? That's right. You had to sell the building. I don't know how many times I could repeat that. No, but you found the buyer. Yeah, but maybe we could roll you on this. You saved it from the wrecking ball. We, we, we really did. Mary helped, too, yeah. a lot. My father would have been so happy. We spent, my dad would, too. Yeah, he had us off. On the second floor. Yeah, so, and um, everyone in Buffalo. It's really, this is such a point of pride, this building in Buffalo. But everything that's Beautiful happened over the, since then, since... 2011, getting the you know getting the place going and playing right at the deed signing and being here ever since and yeah. all the things we've done here. And, um, I feel I just feel like yeah, you played at the deed like signing. empowered for some reason. I feel like I could just go around town and nobody the, nobody knows you know me from Adam really probably you know except except the owner. Yeah, you know so. You guys have done a good job of promoting uh, Lounge Academy to the right people because our reputations kind of preceded us and um, probably were probably over exaggerated you know, by the re by the uh, receptions I got. So so anyway, I feel empowered to just go around and like pick out the best place and say, you know, Lounge Academy, put it, put it like that, please. Pretty please. Pants on fire, pretty please. Yeah, I don't know what pants on fire has to do with it. But uh, I, no, I just do. I feel like I've got some kind of power to where wherever I go and whichever place we pick, they're going to say yes. I think they will. I think just, I'm probably, you know, maybe I'm nuts. You know, well, that's beside the point. But I just, I just, feel like I've got this abundance of confidence that the Lounge Academy spirit, like I, I mean, it, it caused this building to, to, to survive. Maybe yeah. that's why, I think so. you know, because the Lounge Academy's already done magic, you know, and um, we're, this is, the lights are on here and that's proof of it. 
you know. So I think that's why I've got so much confidence in the cadets, the lounge cadets, and what everything we stand for in lounge them. And with that, I will now stop procrastinating, oh, no. packing up, and, and like going nice home. And I gotta pack up before this the five nice hour energy wears off. It was a nice night with all our friends here. It was a really nice night. Tonight. It was. We had some great cadets here. Darlene. Darlene, Tina, and her Terry. And Terry. Yeah, and, and then and then Nick and Kathy showed up. A lot of stories shared tonight too. We were talking to Andrea and, and, and David. Had just um, emptied her own Andrea. house out and moved to an apartment. That was a cool achievement that she did. We did. Andrea. She moved out of her house and moved in. She's smart. Yes, she got two dumpsters, huge dumpsers. I had no idea this was happening. So she sold, she sold her house at the top of the for market? For cash. For yes. cash. Moved into an apartment. See, everybody says knows they should do that. She actually did she it. She did it. That's genius. Yes. And that's having real... But I guess her husband had been, she's widowed, her husband had been, and she loves her husband, didn't want to live in the house anymore because they, they had shared it together and she wanted to go somewhere else. But anyway, he had been a pack rat, she told me, and he just stored all the stuff, and she could... Oops, you know what, I think I think Facebook might have killed it because we're oh, three okay. hours. Oh, okay. So, because my, my watch and stuff. Oh, pack up. Okay, good night, everybody. Blah, blah, blah. I will hit the stop button. I don't think I have to, I think it ended, I don't know. Good night, everybody.